Next, a musicologist, this intelligent helper to help us discover the music we love. HomePod has an incredible speaker system that works together with our Apple Music subscription. From the beginning, it's designed to work with that. Now, Apple Music, as you know, provides music in the cloud, and the speaker can get it directly from the cloud. You can get 40 million tracks, 2 million artists, tens of thousands of playlists, but not just any music library. This is your music library. It knows the playlists you've set up. It knows the artists you love, and all of them stream directly to your HomePod. It works with an array of six microphones around the middle. So as you talk to it, and you say those magic words, hey Siri, you see a waveform light up on top, and now it can respond to your commands and help serve up the music you want to hear. The Siri team has worked very hard to adapt the domain of music and Siri to be even greater and understand more of the questions we're going to ask about music. Simple things, obviously, like play Beats One Radio. We all want to do that. Or play I'm Poppy. Check it out if you don't know what that's about. <laughs> play something new. Who's singing on this track? Something I ask all the time. Who's playing drums on this track? The complex questions like, what was the top song on May 5th, 2016? Or just play more like that, or I like that song. These are free form. Siri doesn't need a specific list of commands. It can interpret what you're saying and help you discover the music you love. And even better, you don't have to just sit next to the HomePod to talk to it. You can be across the room and speak to the HomePod even while loud music is playing and the speaker array and the microphones can, can pick it up and hear what you're saying. So HomePod has the power to rock the house. It has spatial awareness so that it understands the rooms we place it within. And it has the fun interactivity of Siri becoming a musicologist and helping us to listen to the music we love. And since Siri's built in there and you can speak to it, well, the team's also worked hard to make it a great and helpful home assistant as well. We said the domain of music is something Siri knows really well in HomePod. There are other domains as well. We've worked hard to pick the first ones that we think matter most in a product like HomePod. So of course, you can play your podcasts, but it can also do things like give you news, give you weather, traffic, sports. You can ask it to set a reminder, set a timer, text someone with messages. And if you have HomeKit devices set up in your home, you can speak to your HomePod and control your HomeKit devices. So for example, with the HomePod set up, you can say, when do the Red Sox play next? They're gonna beat the Yankees, trust me. Tune to NPR instead. Flip a coin. Remind me to bring snacks to a party. You can set up reminders, check all these sports news and weather, all directly with your voice, talk to a HomePod to get the information directly from the cloud. And if you have HomeKit devices set up, you can say simple things like, are the lights on? Turn the heat up. Turn on the air conditioning. Bring the shades down halfway. Turn off the lights in the bedroom. And if you've set up scenes in HomeKit, you can control those as well. You can say, I'm home. It's movie time. I'm leaving now. And the whole scene can automatically happen just by talking to your HomePod. And because there is a HomePod uh, base, a HomeKit base built into HomePod, that means anywhere in the world, once you've set up your first HomePod, you control your HomeKit devices remotely using the built-in Home app on your iPhone or iPad. Now, setting up a HomePod and its microphone array in your home, you probably have a question that we've worked really hard to deal with, which is privacy. Our team cares deeply about your privacy. So for example, it has that magic phrase, hey Siri. Until you say it, nothing's being sent to Apple. It recognizes when you do say it, and from that point, it sends an anonymous Siri ID in order to help you with the commands you're looking for. And of course, that communication is all encrypted. So this is the HomePod. It's a breakthrough home speaker. Typically, Wi-Fi speakers, if they're a good quality, are $300 to $500. And a smart speaker might cost you $100 to $200. So it's not unreasonable for a HomePod to be priced in the range of $400 to $700. So we're really excited to tell you that HomePod is going to be priced for $349. 
comes in white and space gray. It'll start shipping this December, first in the US, UK, and Australia. And then next year, we'll start bringing it around the world. So that's HomePod. Back to you, Tim. Woo!